the Ford World Rally Team, also known as the Ford Motor Co. Team prior to 2005, is Ford Motor Company's full factory World Rally Championship team. In its current form, it has been a competitor since the 1997 season, when Ford Motor Company's motorsport arm selected the Malcolm Wilson Motorsport Company to run its factory team, entering the Ford Escort World Rally car. The new team took their first victory in the 1997 Acropolis Rally. Topic: The team. Topic: Management. Gerard Quinn, Senior Manager, Motorsport Ford of Europe. Malcolm Wilson, Team Director. Christian Lorio, Technical Director. Topic: Partners. BP. Castrol. Michelin. Icepeak. Tang Tools Topic Trade Partners Sparco Oz Racing Ricaro M Sport Riger Racing Topic History Topic nineteen seventy eight season Ford would end the nineteen seventy eight season with a win for Hanu Mikola on season ending Lombard RAC rally. At the hands of an escort one thousand eight hundred rupees, he would be followed home by Bjorn Waldegard and Britain's Russell Brooks, all in similar machinery. Topic nineteen seventy nine season Ford had a long and successful history in rallying, winning the World Rally Championship WRC in nineteen seventy nine with the Ford Escort one thousand eight hundred rupees and drivers Hanu Mikola, Bjorn Waldegard and Ari Vatanen. Topic: 1980 to 1984 seasons. Ford did not officially enter any cars for these seasons after winning the 1979 World Rally Championship season. They instead concentrated on development of the stillborn Ford Escort 1,700 trillion rupees. However, Ari Vatanen did win the 1981 Drivers' Championship in a Rothmans liveried Ford Escort RS, this was run by David Sutton Cars, and not an official works Ford World Rally team. <laughs> 1985 season The Borum based team were again missing from the 1985 season. The Ford Escort 1700 trillion rupees program had been cancelled in 1983, and a new car was required to compete with Group B rivals like the Audi Quattro S1 and Peugeot 205 T16. Lessons learned from the 1700 trillion rupees program were being used in the development of Ford's new rally weapon, the 200 rupees, which would not hit the stages until 1986. Topic: 1986 season. 
having spent time away from the sport developing the Gia styled 200 rupees Ford made a return to the world rallying stage at the second round in Sweden Ford's new 200 rupees featured four wheel drive a turbocharged Cosworth BDT engine generating 450 bhp and a new blue and white Ford Motorsport livery Ford employed the services of Swedish drivers Stig Blomqvist and Kalle Grundl, but they would each only be entered on four rallies, in a season overshadowed with tragedy. Grundl achieved a podium finish on the RS200's debut in Sweden, a result that would not be bettered all season. The following round in Portugal saw an 200 rupees driven by Joaquim Santos leave the road, killing three spectators. Ford withdrew their entry for that rally. Fifth place for Grundle on the Lombard RAC rally marked the end of the road for the 200 rupees, as Group B rallying was banned for 1987. Ford finished fifth in the Manufacturers' Championship behind rivals Peugeot, Lancia, Volkswagen, and Audi. Topic: 1987 season. Ford started the post-Group B era with the Sierra XR4X4, which had the benefits of 4WD, but was not as powerful as its rivals, and then replaced it with the RWD Sierra RS Cosworth which was more powerful, but lacked grip and traction on the gravel rallies that dominate the World Rally Championship. Stig Blomqvist was entered into the Monte Carlo, Swedish and New Zealand rounds of the championship in a white Texaco-sponsored Ford Sierra XR4X4, he could only muster a sixth-place finish on his home rally, after being disqualified and crashing out of the other two rallies. The Sierra RS Cosworth proved to be far more successful in comparison, it would not win during 1987, but it did achieve a number of podium finishes. The car debuted on the Safari Rally, again driven by Stig Blomqvist, but would retire following a fire, its next outing would be on the island of Corsica. Blomqvist would again retire with turbo failure, but his teammates Carlos Sainz and Didier Oriol would fare much better, finishing 7th and 8th respectively. Ari Vatanen paired up with Blomqvist on the 1000 Lakes Rally in Finland, their speed and experience helping to negate some of the advantage of 4WD that their rivals enjoyed, they would finish 2nd and 3rd respectively, Ford would finish the season with 2nd and 3rd places for Blomqvist and Jimmy McRae, again against more capable rival machinery. Sporadic appearances throughout the season with cars that were compromised in one way or another meant that Stig Blomqvist would finish in a lowly seventh position in the Drivers' Championship, whilst Ford could only manage to finish fifth in the Manufacturers' Championship. Topic: 1988 season. Ford entered the 1988 World Rally Championship season using both the XR4X4 and the Sierra RS Cosworth models, the Texaco sponsorship had gone, and the cars now featured a corporate blue and white striped Ford color scheme, similar to that seen on the Ford 200 rupees in 1986. The services of Stig Blomqvist, Carlos Sainz and Didier Oriol were retained from 1987, each driver being entered on the rallies in Portugal, Finland and Italy. Blomqvist would also be entered for round two in Rally Sweden, whilst Sainz and Oriol were entered in Corsica. A three-car team of Blomqvist, Sainz and Mark Lovell were entered for the season-closing Lombard RAC Rally. 
Bloomquist kicked off Ford's season with second place on his home round in a rally sport Sweden prepared Sierra XR4 X4, the best result for the Ford WD Ford, and something that would not be bettered. The Ford Sierra RS Cosworth would return for round three in Portugal, and Bloomquist would use it to finish in fifth place, but only after Sainz and Oriol had both retired from the event. Ford would return to winning ways in Corsica, Didier Oriol steering his green and white panic sponsored Sierra around the island ahead of opposition from Lancia, for his first victory, and Ford's 23rd in the top flight. Sainz would collect points for fifth in Corsica and then sixth in Finland, another rally where Oriol would finish on the podium, this time in third place, two places ahead of Bloomquist. Oriol's luck would run out on the San Remo rally in Italy, suffering an accident that would force him to retire. Sainz and Bloomquist would finish low down the order in fifth and seventh places respectively. For the final round in Great Britain Swedish and Spanish crews would finish in 6th and 7th places, whilst Lovell would finish in a disappointing 17th place in his bright yellow Sound 2000 sponsored Ford Sierra RS Cosworth. Ford would finish the season second behind Lancia in the Manufacturers Championship, with a total of 79 points. Topic: 1989 season. It was evident from previous seasons that Ford did not have a car that was fully capable of challenging Lancia and their Delta Integral. So for the 1989 season, the Blue Oval was absent for most of the rallies, entering cars for the Corsica and Lombard RAC rally rounds only. Three cars were entered in Corsica, a Q8 liveried car for Gianfranco Cunico, a Yellow Sound 2000 sponsored car for Mark Lovell and a third car for French driver Pierre César Baroni. Lovell would retire after suffering from a misfire, Baroni would retire after an accident, and Cunico would go on to finish seventh overall. The Italian driver would suffer the misfortune of retiring after an accident on his second Ford outing in Great Britain. Ford would finish 13th in the manufacturer's standings after scoring just six points for the season. 1990 season Results over the past few seasons had proved one thing, in order to return to winning ways Ford would need a powerful, turbocharged car with four WD capabilities. The three-door Sierra RS Cosworth was no longer being sold by Ford, so they instead utilized the new Sierra RS Cosworth 4x4 four-door saloon model, which went on sale in 1990. The new car was still powered by a Cosworth-developed turbocharged engine, but delays sourcing a suitable gearbox meant that it would not be used until the end of the 1990 World Rally Championship season. The team retained the Q8 sponsorship from the 1989 World Rally Championship season, the cars again being painted blue with cream-colored bumpers, but the driver lineup had almost completely changed, only Franco Cunico remained. He was now joined by Penty Ericala and Malcolm Wilson who had been teammates at the Rothmans Rally Team 10 years previously. Ford's season kicked off in Finland, where all three drivers left the start ramp, but would not see the finish. Erikala suffered a gearbox problem, Kunako suffered an accident and Wilson withdrew after a service infringement. 
results weren't much better on Kunico's home rally in Italy, where he and Wilson again both retired and Ericala finished in a disappointing 11th place. Ericala was seated in car number one for the final round in Great Britain, but he and Wilson would again retire, the only Ford finisher being Alessandro Fiorio who had replaced Kunico. Ford would finish eighth in the championship, with a total of 22 points. Topic. 1991 season. The 1991 World Rally Championship season was an opportunity for Ford to push for victory again, and to evolve the Sierra RS Cosworth 4x4. Lessons learned on the stages would be used to simultaneously develop the Ford Escort RS Cosworth. The cars were again predominantly blue with title sponsorship from Q8, but now featured extra sponsors like Autoglass and Noborasco, which were displayed in white sections on the bonnet and rear flanks of the car. British driver Malcolm Wilson returned, and was joined by a relatively unknown French driver called François Delacour. Both drivers were entered on six of the European rounds of the championship, with Delacour also entering the Catalonia Rally in Spain. A third car was shared by Alessandro Fiorio and Gwyndiff Evans, and a single car was made available for Ari Vatanen at Rally Finland. Delacour surprised many with his pace on the season opening Monte Carlo rally. After a spirited drive, he finished in third place, leading home teammates Wilson and Fiorio, who finished seventh and tenth respectively. This feat was not to be repeated in Portugal, where all three cars retired after going off the road. Delacour also failed to finish in Corsica after suffering differential issues, while Wilson finished in fifth place. The rough and rugged stages of the Acropolis rally were renowned for braking cars, and that turned out to be the case for the Sierra RS Cosworth 4x4 as all three cars retired with mechanical ailments. A single car was entered for Vatanen on his home rally in Finland, he kept the car on the road and won eight stages on his way to seventh place. The San Remo rally would prove to be more fruitful than the Acropolis had been when the Q8 cars returned. All three cars would finish this rally in the top ten, with Delacour finishing fourth overall ahead of Fiorio in ninth and Wilson in tenth. 1991 was the inaugural year for the Catalunya Rally and was only registered as a round of the Drivers' Championship. Two cars were entered, one for Delacour and the other for José María Bartolet, a pairing that would secure third and fourth positions respectively. To end the season, Gwyndiff Evans joined Wilson and Delacour. It would not be a happy hunting ground for the British drivers on their home rally, the Lombard RAC Rally, both drivers retiring in the forests of Wales on day two, their French teammate would go on to finish in sixth place. A winless season left Ford finishing the Manufacturers' Championship in fourth place, with 54 points. Topic: 1992 season. There were a number of changes for the 1992 World Rally Championship season at the Borum-based Ford squad. The most obvious being the new driver lineup. François Delacour remained at the team, but he was now joined by double world champion Mickey Bayesian, who Ford hoped would add the final ingredients for a championship push. Q8 no longer sponsored the Sierra RS Cosworth 4x4 cars, which were now painted with a white and blue Mobile One livery. 
New technical rules were in place which reduced the turbo restrictor diameter from 40 mm, down to 38 mm, and in the background, development work continued on the Ford Escort RS Cosworth. Ford would follow a similar strategy to 1991 by electing to enter the European gravel and tarmac rounds only. Biagian and Delacour were paired up on all of the rallies that Ford entered except Catalunya, where Delacour was joined by José María Bartolet, and in Great Britain, where Biagian was joined by Malcolm Wilson. Delacour kicked off his season by winning five stages in Monte Carlo on his way to fourth place, 12 minutes and four places ahead of his Italian teammate, who would have a better result in Portugal, finishing second behind his former teammate Juha Cancunin. Engine troubles had denied Delacour any points in Portugal, but it would hold for both he and Biagian on the Acropolis Rally, where the pair finished fifth and third respectively. The fast, flowing Finnish stages of the 1000 Lakes Rally allowed Biagian to continue his string of good results, he would collect more points by finishing in fifth place. Delacour, however, seemed to be suffering the bad luck in the team as he finished the rally off the road. These gremlins would strike both Delacour and Bartolet in Catalonia. Biagian and Wilson would fare much better on the Lombard RAC rally, with both cars finishing in the top 10. Ford finished the championship with 94 points and third position, and would retire the Sierra RS Cosworth 4x4, as a new car would be ready for 1993. Topic. 1993 season Ford introduced the Escort RS Cosworth. Topic: 1994 season. Development of the Escort RS Cosworth continued during the 1994 season, a sequential gearbox and an anti-lag system being introduced, along with new larger 18-inch wheels for tarmac rounds. This would be the final year at Ford for double champion Mickey Biagian, his previous form had not continued and he would not finish higher than third place all season. His teammate François Delacour demonstrated how the car should be driven, by winning the season opening Monte Carlo rally, he would then miss four months of the season after breaking both of his ankles. A third car was driven on a number of rounds by Bruno Thierry, and a number of other drivers including future champion Tommy Makinen. The Finnish driver would only drive the Escort RS Cosworth on his home rally that year, but he would secure a second win for the Ford team. Theory would finish the season with two more points than his more illustrious teammate Biagian, but the team's combined performance would leave them third in the championship behind Japanese rivals, Toyota and Subaru. 1995 season Commitments in the Formula One and BTCC championships meant that the rally budget at Borum was significantly reduced, as a consequence Ford were not officially entered into the 1995 season as a manufacturer, the work instead being contracted out to Ross Sport of Belgium. 1996 season Ford entered the 1996 season as full manufacturer entry, again with the Escort RS Cosworth, but now with backing from Repsol and a new lead driver, in the form of Carlos Sainz. 
Double champion Sainz had joined the Ford team after losing the battle for the 1995 championship to Colin McRae. He would have a number of new teammates at Ford, starting with Francois Delacour at Rally Sweden, and then former champion Stig Blomqvist at the Safari Rally in Kenya. Welsh driver Gwyndiff Evans, which his son Elfin currently driving for the team, drove the second car in Rally Indonesia, it would be his only appearance before replaced by Bruno Thierry for the rest of the season. Sainz's pace was undeniable, even in the aging escort R.S. Cosworth, as he would go on to win the Indonesian rally and finish on the podium on every rally he finished. However, retirements in Kenya, Finland, and on his home round in Spain would leave him finishing third in the championship. Theory finished on the podium for the final two rounds in Italy and Spain, results that would help him to finish sixth in the driver's standings. 1996 would prove to be the swan song year for both the escort R.S. Cosworth and the preparation of works Ford cars at Borum, resulting in the team finishing third in the Manufacturers' Championship. Topic: 1997 season. 1997 saw the introduction of the Ford Escort WRC, which was now being run by the Cumbria-based M Sport team, rather than being based at the long-term Ford Motorsport home of Borum. The team continued to be sponsored by Repsol, with a distinctive white and orange livery, and the car featured dramatic changes to the engine, as it was the Escort Group A car's main weak point, and also had several other cosmetic changes including a new front bumper and rear spoiler. On the driver front the team continued to be led by double world rally champion Carlos Sainz, who drove all 14 rounds, winning the Acropolis and Indonesia rallies, also often finishing on the podium. He would eventually finish third in the championship. The second seat was initially filled by German driver Armin Schwartz, however, he was replaced after the sixth round in Corsica, following some disappointing results, and the fact that his sponsorship money had not arrived. His understudy was a more than capable Juha Kankunen, who completed the season in the second car, finishing on the podium on no less than six occasions. A third car was entered at the Network QRAC rally for Angelo Medghini. Ford finished second in the Manufacturers' Championship, being sandwiched by champion Subaru and third-placed Mitsubishi. Topic: 1998 season. 1998 marked the final season of the Escort WRC, with that year's Rally of Great Britain being its last event, ending the model name's 30-year association with factory-backed international rallying. The team retained the services of four-time world champion Finn, Juha Kankunen and Belgian Bruno Thierry, a championship mainstay and veteran pilot of previous Ford rallying models, including the escort R.S. Cosworth. Carlos Sainz had left the team at the end of the 1997 season, and taken the Repsol SA sponsorship with him. The Escort WRC started the Monte Carlo Rally with a new blue and white Ford livery, and a dedication to ex-Ford Rally legend Roger Clark who died earlier in the year. As events transpired, neither driver would manage to mark the Escort's swansong year with a final victory. The escort still proved, frustratingly for the championship hopeful Kankunen, persistently ineffective on asphalt rounds of the calendar, woes for which not even Theory's performances could compensate. 
A late injury to the Belgian provided an early season cameo role for 1981 world champion Ari Vatanen, who finished third at the Safari Rally, behind compatriot Kankunen and first time World Rally victor for Mitsubishi, Richard Burns. Kankunen eventually scored sufficient points and podiums, including second ahead of Theory in Britain, to finish fourth in the 1998 drivers' standings. Although, with the announcement of the looming high profile arrival of Colin McRae to the team for the following year, this success did not deter the Finn from deciding to leave the M Sport outfit, both he and Theory proceeding to sign Subaru contracts for 1999. Topic: 1999 season. The Ford and M Sport built Ford Focus WRC replaced the Escort WRC for 1999. It debuted on the Monte Carlo Rally in January, with Colin McRae and Simon Jean Joseph driving the two Martini Racing liveried works machines. It set several fastest stage times and McRae finished a provisional third place on the stages, only to be disqualified later due to an illegal water pump. McRae gave the Focus its first win two events later at the Safari Rally, in Kenya, finishing over 15 minutes ahead of the second-placed Toyota Corolla WRC of Didier Oriol. Although McRae then immediately followed up this success with a victory at the next round in Portugal, the Scots' title chances faded amid reliability problems with the new car and a series of costly shunts. McRae finished sixth in the drivers' standings. During this debut season, many drivers drove the second focus of the team Francis Simon Jean Joseph for some tarmac events, 2003 World Rally champion Petter Solberg of Norway, who replaced Radstrom in the Safari Rally, and Thomas Radstrom of Sweden on loose surface rounds, except Safari, who was replaced by Petter Solberg. Topic: 2000 season. His former role at Toyota, now redundant after his former team's withdrawal as manufacturers' champions at the end of the 1999 season, double world champion Spaniard Carlos Sainz chose to return to his 1997 team for the 2000 season, joining the incumbent Colin McRae. Both men drove the Focus WRC at every event of the season. They finished third and fourth respectively in the Drivers' Championship, albeit only managing to bring Ford second place in the manufacturer's title race behind Peugeot. Once again, bit part driver Piero Liotti was called upon to help improve Ford's points returns on asphalt. 2001 season McRae and Sainz were joined for the 2001 season by a regular third driver in the returning Ford favourite of the early to mid-1990s, Frenchman François Delacour. McRae's season oscillated between a protracted pointless run on the season's first few rounds, including retirement on the season opening Monte Carlo rally while leading the event from Tommy Makinen, and a run of three consecutive victories on the Argentine, Cypriot and Greek events, the latter placing him as joint leader of the championship with Makinen midway through the season. Leading the points standings outright upon entering his final home round, however, McRae led in the initial stages only to crash out of the event, allowing a consistently points-scoring Richard Burns to sneak past him for the title. 
Ford also lost their opportunity for the manufacturer's title on this event, as rivals Peugeot secured a decisive 1-2 finish with Marcus Granholm and Harry Rovanpera. Sainz, meanwhile, endured a winless but not wholly uncompetitive season, even remaining an outsider for the title entering the final event. A crash of his own put paid to such ambitions, with the Spaniard slumping to sixth place in the points standings, with 33 points. Topic: 2002 season. McRae and Sainz regrouped for both drivers' final seasons with Ford in 2002. Simultaneously, youngster Marco Martin replaced Delacour as the team's third driver, having found himself crowded out by the presence of Richard Burns and Petter Solberg at former team, Subaru. Sainz's third place in the championship beat his Scottish teammates' fourth place in the standings. His only victory of the year came on that year's Rally Argentina, which he inherited after the unlikely exclusion of both of the initially 1-2 finishing dominant works Pugos of Marcus Granholm and Englishman Burns. McRae began his own season with fourth place on the Rally Monte Carlo, but he suffered an injury to his hand when he crashed out on the Tour de Course, which left him hampered and struggling to a single point scoring finish on the following tarmac round in Spain. Injury worries for Sainz, meanwhile, came not from himself, but in the form of longtime co driver Luis Moya, who was forced to end his unbroken year on year chain of appearances with his compatriot in order to recuperate, with Mark Marty stepping in for the double world champion's home rally. Intrusive spectator parking on the event blinded Sainz, causing him to eventually crash out. With the Fords having initially dominated the stage times on the first rough gravel event of the year in Cyprus particularly through McRae, Martin and François Duval, successive retirements left McRae as the sole occupier of the lead for the Blue Oval, which he lost after a number of unfortunate shunts which eventually left himself holding on to a mere sixth place overall, and the two factory Pugos as one to two finishers on this event. After Sainz's perhaps fortuitous Argentinian win, McRae resumed his role as rally winner on the Acropolis and Safari rallies. The first success came despite initially being unexpectedly led on the stages by an imperious Martin, while the latter, achieved on the landmark occasion of the 50th running of the fabled endurance event, and its last at World Rally Championship level, in retrospect proved to be the last career victory for McRae and British navigator Nicky Grist, ironically on the day on which the Scot became the first World Championship driver to reach the quarter-century mark of individual WRC wins, and came to stand alone as the most successful driver in the history of the World Rally Championship. Despite the profile of these attainments, both McRae and Sainz were to leave the team at the end of the year as teammates to the then less seasoned Sebastien Loeb at new championship full-timers, Citroën. 2003 season In the absence of the departed McRae and Sainz, Ford opted to promote their younger supporting drivers, Estonian Marco Martin and Belgian François Duval, to their top two seats. A comparatively thorough redesign of the Focus debuted at the 2003 Rally New Zealand, where Martin in particular proved immediately competitive, leading only to later be forced into retirement with engine problems. 
the team's new leader did score his first of five career rally victories on that year's Acropolis Rally, however, notwithstanding a dramatic mid-stage moment for he and navigator Michael Park, when the car's bonnet unexpectedly flew up, as well as becoming only the third non-Scandinavian victor of the Rally Finland, formerly the 1000 Lakes Rally. The junior Duval, meanwhile, as had been publicly predicted by team boss Malcolm Wilson, secured a podium finish on this year's Tour de Course, having scored his first ever podium finish earlier in the year in Turkey. The two drivers finished the season in fourth and ninth places respectively in the drivers' standings. Topic: 2004 season. Martin and Duval again drove the two works Fords in 2004. Martin managed to win the French, Spanish, and Mexican rallies, giving him third place in the overall championship. Both drivers left at the end of the season to join Peugeot, Martin, and Citroen, Duval. 2005 season The 2005 season saw Ford take on two relatively inexperienced drivers, Finn Tony Gardemeister and Czech Roman Cresta. Gardemeister achieved podiums at the Monte Carlo Rally, Rally Sweden, Acropolis Rally and the Tour de Course. Cresta's best individual rally result was sixth, which he achieved on five events. The duo respectively finished in fourth and eighth places in the Drivers' Championship standings. The team also successfully introduced its 2006 car, the Ford Focus RSWRC06 at the final rally of the year in Australia, where despite a few teething troubles, it was immediately quick as Gardemeister and Cresta both achieved a fastest stage time during the rally. 2006 season The team's entrance for the 2006 season are a new look, all Finnish team of 2000 and 2002 champion Marcus Granholm, co-driven by Timo Raudianen, and the youngster Miko Hirvinen, who renewed his link with the M Sport Run team for the first time since 2003, co-driven by Jarma Leitinen. Granholm joined the team from Peugeot, with whom, as planned, he ended his association after the joint withdrawal from the sport of both PSA Group Marcus. He won his first two events for the team, on the Monte Carlo Rally and the Swedish Rally, but was closely shadowed on both of them by the two-time champion and now driver with semi-works Kronos Citroën, Sebastien Loeb, who was soon to assert himself sufficiently in order to overtake the Finn in the points standings. Despite further victories, including Greece and Finland, Granholm never regained the championship led from the Frenchman and with the exception of Hirvonen in Australia, the two proved the only two drivers worthy of individual rally victories all season. Although with four rounds remaining and a 34-point lead, Loeb's injury from a mountain biking accident shortly after the Cyprus rally appeared to offer Granholm a chance to close the deficit, the Finns' title challenge was finally mathematically ended with a crash on the penultimate round in Australia. His team, however, were to benefit from Loeb's absence against a now weakened Kronos Citroën left to depend on their two inexperienced Spaniards, Xavier Pons and Daniel Sordo, although the team initially called upon Colin McRae to substitute for Loeb on their first event without him, in Turkey. 
Ford, already gaining on the points lead due to the combined proficiency on gravel of their two senior drivers, soon reclaimed a championship lead they were never to lose, achieving its greatest success in winning the manufacturer's title, the first such win for Ford since 1979. Topic: 2007 season. The team's primary entrants for 2007 were unchanged from 2006. After watching his opponent of the previous year, Sebastien Loeb, return to winning ways on the official return of the 2003–2005 Manufacturers' Championship winning factory Citroën team on the season's curtain raiser in Monte Carlo, Granholm followed up his own third place by winning for the first time that season in Sweden in February, and led his opponent, now driving a newly homologate Citroen C4 WRC, in the driver's standings over the championship's post-rally Finland summer break an event also incidentally won by Granholm, for a record-beating seventh time, to further extend his points lead. Unfortunately for the drivers' championship ambitions of both the Blue Oval Concern and Granholm, however, having announced his impending retirement from WRC competition at the end of the season, the elder Finn was to suffer an early exit on Rally Japan, in doing so surrendering the long-held lead in the standings to Loeb. Granholm then shunted his focus, knocking himself briefly unconscious, on the tarmac stages of the inaugural Rally Ireland and penultimate round of the year. Combined with adversary Loeb winning, this meant an almost impossible points deficit to overhaul for the rapidly fit again Finn come the season ending Wales Rally GB. It culminated in the Frenchman, settling for a safe third on the rally to the Finn second, triumphing in the second long points duel between the pair in consecutive years. Ford, however, aided by supporting teammate Hirvonen's continued superiority on loose surface events over his Citroën counterpart Daniel Sordo, sealed a successful defense of the Constructors' Championship. Meanwhile, Hirvonen, for his part, in addition to ending the season in style by topping the timesheets after the three days competition in Wales, had also earlier taken his second and third career World Rally victories in Norway and Japan. At the halfway stage of the 2007 World Rally Championship, a joint venture between BP Ford and the Abu Dhabi Tourism Board was announced to bring a third official Ford Focus RS World Rally car to the team's campaign. Khalid Alkasimi and co-driver Nikki Beach contested the Neste Oil Rally Finland, ADAC Rally Deutschland, Rally RACC Catalunya Costa Dorada and Rally Ireland, for their work in the 2007 season, BP Ford and M Sport received the Rally Business of the Year Award from the Motorsport Industry Association. Topic: 2008 season. Miko Hirvonen and co-driver Jarma Leitinen resumed the implicit role within the team of the Cumbria Outfit's leading crew for the 2008 season, after Marcus Granholm and co-driver Timo Raudianen elected to retire following the 2007 season, with the more experienced Finn later to be found dabbling for Ford in Rallycross and maintaining his links with the BP Ford WRT team in an ambassadorial role. Hirvonen was joined in the New Look M Sport lineup by another fellow Finnish driver, Jari Mati Latvala, who stepped into the vacant berth from his former spot at the satellite Stobart Ford team. 
Khalid Al Qasimi returned with a program of 10 events on the 2008 WRC calendar aboard a third car. His co driver, Nikki Beach, was replaced by Michael Orr, former co driver to Matthew Wilson. The season got off to a promising start for both Finnish drivers, with Hirvonen taking second to the seemingly omnipresent Loeb on the Monte Carlo rally in January, before Latvala shattered Henri Toivonen's long standing record as youngest World Rally Championship qualifying event winner by outpacing Hirvonen to victory on the following rally Sweden. Hirvonen collected his first win of the year on the Jordan Rally and led Latvala in an astutely tactically judged Ford 1-2 on Rally Turkey to assert a slender points lead over Citroën's Loeb heading into both Finn's home round of the championship in August. Unfortunately for Ford, however, neither Hirvonen nor Latvala were able to defeat Loeb, with the now dominant Frenchman proceeding to record his eighth and ninth victories of the season on the New Zealand, Spanish and Corsican rallies. For the latter two, asphalt rounds, team boss Malcolm Wilson drafted in, in place of Latvala, Pacey Belgian and one-time full-time pilot for the Ford team, François Duval, in order to maximize the team's points haul on a surface traditionally favorable to their French rivals. Although Hirvonen did return to winning form to head a Ford 1-2 with Latvala in Japan, it was at the same event where Loeb finished third to finally clinch the driver's title. Although the team did close in to within 11 points of Citroën in the manufacturer's title race, with a possible total of 18 still available, as the season-ending Wales Rally GB loomed in December. Topic: 2009 season. Hirvonen, Latvala, and Al Kasimi were retained in the team. Rival team Citroen got their season off to a good start. Sebastien Loeb winning all of the first five rallies. After finishing third in Ireland, Hirvonen scored four consecutive second-place finishes, but retired in Argentina with an engine problem. The team won their first rally of the season in Italy, Latvala beating Hirvonen. Hirvonen then took four consecutive victories, giving him a five-point lead over Loeb with two rounds to go. Hirvonen finished third in Spain and took a one-point championship lead to the finale in Great Britain. However, Lowe beat him to the victory in Britain, winning the championship. Hirvonen finished second in the standings, with Latvala fourth. Ford finished second in the Manufacturers' Championship behind Citroën. 2010 season Hirvonen, Latvala and Al Qasimi were retained again in the team for 2010. The team made a strong start, Hirvonen winning in Sweden with Latvala in third. However, the Fords struggled at the next round in Mexico, Hirvonen and Latvala only managing fourth and fifth respectively as Citroëns filled the podium. Hirvonen went off the road on the opening day of the Jordan Rally, but Latvala was fighting for victory. Both teams used tactics to determine the road order, Loeb eventually winning for Citroën. Hirvonen finished third in Turkey, while Latvala beat Sebastien Ogier to win in New Zealand after Loeb made errors and Hirvonen struggled for pace. Citroën filled the podium again in Portugal, Hirvonen the leading Ford in fourth. 2011 season 
A change in the technical rules for the 2011 season meant that the Focus RSWRC had been replaced by the Fiesta RSWRC, the Fiesta name had not used by Ford for a rally car since the 1979 season, where Roger Clark and Ari Vatanen were entered for the Monte Carlo Rally. The new car retained the Abu Dhabi sponsorship that it had sported with the Focus, along with the driver line-up of Miko Hirvanen, Jari Mati Latvala and Khalid al Kasimi. The main change from the new technical rules centered on the engine displacement, it being reduced from 2,000cc turbo to 1,600cc turbo, this reflected the changes being introduced to road cars at the same time. The season started well, with Hirvonen winning the Swedish rally, and Latvala finishing third, but Ford would have to wait until round 10 in Australia for the Fiesta to win again. Despite a promising start the Fiesta would only win three rallies during the season, the third victory being with Latvala in the legendary Forests of Wales Rally GB. Hirvonen and Latvala would each achieve six additional podium finishes, allowing them to finish second and fourth in the drivers' championships respectively. Ford finished second in the Manufacturers' Championship, 27 points behind eventual winner's Citroën. Topic. 2012 season. Ford's participation in the World Rally Championship prior to the start of the 2012 season was in doubt due to the continued global financial crisis, but an announcement at the 11th hour was enough to secure their entry. The Abu Dhabi sponsorship deal had finished at the end of the 2011 season, and the Fiesta RSWRC now featured a predominantly Ford blue and white livery. Jari Mati Latvala remained in the Ford stable and was now joined by 2003 champion Petter Solberg, who replaced the Citroën-bound Miko Hirvonen. The season could have started very well for Ford. Latvala was leading the Monte Carlo rally with raw pace, until he crashed out, handing victory to Loeb. Latvala tried to make up for this error by winning the next round in Sweden, but he and Ford would not win again until the tenth round at Wales Rally GB. Solberg showed reasonable pace at the start of the season, adapting to a new car but in the end would never finish higher than third position. Donny Sordo also made an appearance for the Ford team at Rally Argentina, replacing Latvala who had been injured during training, he showed good pace, but retired on the final leg. Latvala ended the season in third place, 116 points behind Loeb. Solberg finished in fifth place behind his younger compatriot, Mads Ostberg. Ford again finished second behind Citroën in the Manufacturers' Championship, another disappointing result for the Blue Oval brand. At the end of the 2012 season, Ford announced that it would be ending its sponsorship of the Ford World Rally team, thus ending a 17-year link with the M Sport squad. Topic: <laughs> Withdrawal from WRC as a World Rally team. On Monday, 26 November 2012, M Sport announced that sponsorship had been secured from the state of Qatar and that Mads Ostberg and Nasser Al Adia would be driving for the 2013 season. On Saturday, 15 December 2012, M Sport also announced that Yevgeny Novikov and Thierry Neuville would be joining the Qatar M Sport World Rally team. 
although the team will be rallying with the Ford Fiesta RSWRC, and may receive technical support from the Ford Motor Company, they will not be classed as the Ford World Rally Team. Topic. 2018 season Following Ford's withdrawal from the WRC at the end of 2012, the presence of the Blue Oval in the championship has been down to its former rally partner, British-based preparation firm M Sport. For 2018 the Ford name is back on the FIA entry list and the manufacturer will play a more active role in the WRC. Following their 2017 championship without Ford support Sebastien Ogier successfully defended his driver's title but lost the manufacturer's title to Toyota. Topic Results Topic WRC Results Group Four Era Topic WRC Results Group B Era Topic WRC Results Group A Era Topic WRC Results WRC Era Topic JWRC Topic Gallery Topic See also Ford Racing Ford Teamers Ford Focus RSWRC Ford Focus International Ford Fiesta RSWRC M Sport Ford World Rally Team Moonshee's Ford World Rally Team